Okay, Gary, let's talk about the race for State Attorney General. Incumbent Rob Bonta was appointed by Governor Newsom, as you know, facing a list of challengers, including Sacramento County DA Anne Marie Schubert. The AP reporting that Bonta will indeed advance to the November election. No big surprise there, but who is he going to face? Let's take a look. Rob Bonta, Nathan Hockman coming in with 17%. Eric Early, with just a couple of percentage points behind, with 15%. Right now, as we sit, and uh, we don't have the Emory Sh Schubert numbers right now, or do we, guys? We'll get that for you as soon as they come up. We have CBS 13's Laura Hayfley, though, standing by live in Sacramento tonight, where Emory Schubert's camp was watching the results come in tonight. Laura. Well, this campaign sign you see behind me for Anne Marie Schubert's AG campaign will likely be taken down any second now because DA Schubert just stepped in front of the podium moments ago to announce her supporter to her supporters here that she will not be continuing on in the race for AG. In her speech, she focused primarily on crime and law enforcement, expressing her hope for California's future that it is tough on crime moving forward no matter who the next AG is. Now, Schubert is most well known for prosecuting major cases, including putting Joseph D'Angelo, better known as the Golden State Killer, behind bars. Uh, she's known for deciding after Stefan Clark was killed that the officers involved had acted lawfully, proving her devotion to the law enforcement community and to the residents of Sacramento County, who she had a message for tonight. The laws and the policies and the elected officials of this state must reflect that human toll of crime. And so for me, I ran this race for one reason, because it's all I've ever done, and because I love this state and I believe in accountability and public safety. I have no regrets. Now with DA Schubert out and AG Bonta in, it leaves one open spot, which is going to go to either Republican in this race, Nathan Hockman among them, former federal prosecutor and former assistant um, AG. And then the second Republican is, of course, private attorney Eric Early, who we spoke to earlier, who is also focused on being tough on crime, focused on California's future in that, in that way. Of course, as soon as we have any additional information on results, we will let you know. All right, Laura, thanks so much. We do want to take a closer look, though, just out of curiosity to see how locally Sacramento County voters voted in this race for AG. You can see the breakdown here. Again, this is just Sacramento County. Rob Bonta with 51% of the vote here. Anne Marie Schubert with 24%. Nathan Hockman with 12%. But again, as Laura said, Anne Marie Schubert now stepping out. Of that race. So, Gary, you've been watching this race as well. It clearly didn't translate the local numbers statewide. The Golden State Killer case was huge for her, but uh, the fingers just weren't long enough to reach statewide for Schubert. Well, there's that. And then, you know, the, I think the turning into an independent cut both ways. She mm -hmm. tried to get garner votes across the aisle, but it just looks like right now we're seeing in all of these races a very partisan tilt, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're either kind of for the incumbent, regardless of their party, or you're not. And that's what it looks like these races, a lot of them are shaping up for, including the AG's race. And it's very tight to see who Bonta's going to face, and we'll be tracking that as the numbers uh, narrow throughout the night. Gary, thank you.